Hey YouTube, this is Seven coming at you with another update. Uh, I had to change my six gallon fluval, my uh, six gallon saltwater tank over. Uh, I had some difficulties with it. Uh, so I had a leftover ten gallon that, you know, kind of took its place. Now it looks a bit empty now because uh, I was worried about a cycle with uh, new sand and the old sand and the, you know, everything. So I just kind of left the, the seven pounds of rock that I had. <clears throat> I am planning to buy more, but I thought I would do a new update. I got a new camera. Got a tripod and all that. I figured I would, you know, give it a good test, see what it looks like. Uh, you'll see the bottle cap in the background. That's a, a nifty little uh, little invention that I that I come up with because I'm a hillbilly, and my filter is too big for this tank. And I felt I need a little bit more water flow. So, uh, you know, don't judge me on my hillbilly high drinks. But uh, you know, this is the tank. I wanted to go over it a little bit. I got a you know a nano power head it's nothing <clears throat> nothing to call home about everything's covered in algae from the old tank I do have some green algae here that uh, you know what I was gonna get rid of it and pull it off but you know I've always had planted tanks and I really like the green there so if something eats it it eats it but uh, well, you know what I'm not unless it gets out of control I'm not gonna do anything about it it's been there for a while and you know what I just don't care. It kind of looks cool. But uh, this is my tank, and I just wanted to show a little picture. Oh, actually, you can kind of see my uh, my little crab guy there. He's kind of hanging out in the rock. I don't know how clear that is. But uh, apparently I need to figure out how to do the focusing a little better because you know it's a new camera I'm you know I went from a uh, Nikon Coolpix and my cell phone to a Nikon D5200 and that's kinda like jumping from a Commodore 64 to a government supercomputer so you know I don't know nothing about nothing and I should just shut up <laughs> but uh, I do got the manuals I'm reading through it and watching everybody's YouTube videos if you guys got a good uh, good uh, user that you want to point me in the right direction that'd be great but uh, until then you know this is what I'm working with um, if anybody cares I got uh, T5 light system on top that should be on a 30 gallon aquarium but since I was running out of uh, time and money I just used it it's it's a 96 watt four T5 bulbs <clears throat> there's two uh, a cynic and two 20,000 K bulbs uh, I know that's way too much, but it's actually on a timer and it's only on both the lights like this for like two hours a day. Usually it's just half and then it swaps. So it's kind of like the sun coming up, the sun going down. You know, I'm just kind of going through it by ear. I don't really know much about salt water, but I think it's pretty. Um, the inhabitants in the tank are a couple snails that I bought at the store, two emerald crabs and a peppermint shrimp. I don't know if I'm going to get much more than that. I might get a clownfish just to make it look pretty in there, or an Ocellaris or whatever you're going to piss in my ear about calling by its Latin name, or scientific name. But uh, no, I'm going to put about 10 more pounds of live rock because I want to do a lot of coral, but I was holding off to make sure that I didn't get another cycle. But that's my video, guys. Thanks. Hit me up with a comment, like, share it, whatever you feel like doing. Have a good day.